Specialized lovers rejoice. The Specialized Jet is here. The newest Specialized Kids bike is lightweight, has child-appropriate geometry, and is designed to grow with your child. The neighborhood bike is perfect for riding to school and tackling bike path rides with friends. The Specialized Jet comes in several different models, a 16-inch single speed, a 20-inch single speed, a 20-inch multi-speed, and a 24-inch multi-speed. The biggest differentiating feature of the Jet is that it's designed to grow with your child. All models of the bike have an adjustable handlebar and longer than average seat post. The 20 inch and 24 inch versions also have dual holes in the crank arms to effectively increase the length as your child grows. This is a unique feature and something we haven't seen on other bikes. The one thing we did find out about the Jet is the long seat tube. Although the standover height is quite low, the higher seat tube means that the seat can't be lowered as far as one might like. This limits some of the potential of the bike for shorter kids. We thought the Jet Fit tool was really cool. For parents who don't know how to properly fit a bike for their child, this tool shows you exactly how to do it. There are three adjustment points, crank length, handlebar rotation, and seat height. We measured our son and plugged our numbers into the tool. The result? The seat height was a little lower than I would have set it at, but it's certainly a good starting point. The idea that a kid's bike should have dual handbrakes and no coaster isn't new, but it is new to Specialized in the 16-inch wheel size. We're huge proponents of choosing a bike without a coaster. The Specialized Jet has easy-to-pull, easy-to-reach brake levers and powerful V-brakes. They aren't disc brakes, but they're plenty for neighborhood riding. A lot of kids' bikes come with grip shifters, and we're not a fan. So we're glad to see the micro-shift trigger shifters on the Specialized Jet. While they might take a bit more effort to learn than grip shifters, the trigger shifters are easier to operate and make nice, clean shifts. The drivetrain on the 20-inch multi-speed has 7 gears, while the 24-inch has 8. The bike has a good range of gears, and it's well suited for around town riding. The Micro Shift Derailleur and Shifter and Sunrace Cassette are decidedly entry-level components, but are good quality and for the most part make nice, clean shifts. The Specialized Jet is designed to serve as a neighborhood bike. This means it's best suited to paved roads and bike paths, but can handle a bit of dirt and gravel as well. The bike has slick, Specialized Pathfinder 2.0 tires. These are fast rolling on pavement, but still offer good traction on hard packed dirt or gravel. The other notable feature is that the bike has a rigid fork. As a neighborhood bike, this is a positive thing. All too many big bike brands offer bikes with heavy suspension forks. The biggest gripe we've had in the past with Specialized and other big bike brands making kids bikes is that they're heavy. The Specialized Jet is one of the first offerings from a big bike brand that can compete on weight with kids bike brands like Woom, Prevello, and Cleary. The claimed weights for the Specialized Jet are as follows. The 16 single speed is 15.2 pounds. The 20 single speed is 17.6 pounds. The 20 multi-speed is 19.3 pounds and the 24 inch is 20.5 pounds. We put the claimed weight of the Specialized Jet 24 to the test. On our scale, which generally seems to be pretty accurate, the weight came in at 1.9 pounds higher than the claimed weight, but that was with pedals on. Still a very respectable weight. Internal cable routing has made bikes look cleaner and keeps cables and housing performing longer. The Jet has internal cables for both the rear brake and the derailleur. As with the general redesign of their kids' bikes, Specialized included well-thought-out grips, saddles, and other components. The grips have an ergonomic mold design with a small platform for the palm to rest on. There's an interior lock ring, and there's not an end cap, but a nice thick bit of rubber molded into the grip, providing safety and durability. More than anything, the ergonomics of the grip design provide relief and help to prolong riding while enjoying the moment. The saddle is Specialized's bridge model, which scaled down for smaller people. There's a body geometry channel down the middle of the saddle, offering some relief in the seated position by allowing blood flow to sensitive areas. The padding is quite comfortable, but not overly padded and cumbersome. While the jet has been designed from the ground up to provide absolute performance for our kiddos, the parents were not considered. We often get neglected when bike companies choose to stock bolt axles and fix seat collars. Quick release components would be fantastic for the parent that has to change the puncture tube or help figure out the right seat height for the little buddy. The seat collar is pretty easy to adjust as it requires an Allen key, but I doubt most parents are adding a dropper post to this bike and a quick release seat post collar would be a nice addition. Ranging from $520 for the 20 inch to $580 for the 24 inch, the Jet is certainly not the cheapest all-terrain kids bike out there. For example, the specialized Rip Rock mountain bikes equipped with suspension forks, disc brakes, and plus tires come in at the same price. The trade-off is that the Jet has a lower weight than their kids' mountain bikes, but at a greater expense than competitors with fewer component upgrades. We constantly hear families that want to support their local bike shop but struggle to find decent kids' bikes locally. The Specialized Jet is the answer to this dilemma, as it's available at your local dealer as well as online. The Jet is a bit pricey when compared with other high-end kids' bikes, but the general redesign makes it a bike worth your consideration. The fact that it can grow with your child and has high-quality parts that will last also helps make the price tag less painful. The biggest factor is that the neighborhood cruises will be fun. As always, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Thanks for watching.